Good morning and welcome to another episode of Max Living Radio. My name is Dr. Jake Tucker here at Good Life Family Chiropractic here on the south side of Lincoln, best of Lincoln for 2017. And I'm coming to you today. We're going to talk about something that's very, very strong on my heart today. And that is the current state of health in the United States. And I talk about this a lot but it's because it is so vital to you living the life that you're here for. The purpose that you have in life depends almost 100% on your health. Health provides you the opportunity. Health provides you the means. And without your health, you're not going to be able to accomplish the things that you've been created for. And so, you know, today it, it really bothers me. Like really, it cuts me to the core that, the United States of America is in the place where we are today with health. We are 37th out of 37 industrialized nations when it comes to healthcare. We are dead last by any mother measure. We have a greater than two thirds odds of dying of what the World Health Organization considers preventable disease. And yet, we are first in healthcare spending, we are first in treatment options, we have the best healthcare professionals, the best around the world come to the United States of America to practice helping you be healthy here in your backyard. And yet, and yet you have a greater odds of dying of heart disease or cancer or being affected by diabetes or contracting Alzheimer's or dementia when we know that more than 90% of all of these diseases are lifestyle preventable. And so the biggest problem that I see is first that we do not take into consideration that an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. When you focus solely on the cure, you are never going to achieve as much success as when you focus on prevention. We know that. We wait until we have a sickness or disease to spend any money. And that's where all the money on healthcare in the United States gets spent. We spend almost 20% of our gross domestic product on healthcare. And yet it's not working out. It's not working out. We're 37th out of 32nd, 37, 37th out of 37, 72nd overall behind some third world countries when it comes to health. And it's because we do not take into consider prevention until it's too late. We don't even focus on that. Usually what we do is we wait. We wait until we feel a symptom. And this is, this is the second problem that I see with our current healthcare system. We wait until we feel a symptom. We base our health on how we feel. We do not invest in it ahead of time. We wait until we feel a symptom and then we're, what we're spending that money on, we turn to medication. As 5% of the world's population, we take 74% of the prescription medication taken in the the entire world here in the United States. We take 80% of the world's painkillers and we take 90% of the world's psychotropic medications. Because to think that just spending money and just taking drugs and just waiting until you're sick is enough to keep you healthy enough to be able to live the life that you've been called to is not going to work and that's just a little bit crazy. And so we have to start taking this from a different perspective. We have to take it at what health is. Because if you wait until you feel heart disease, you're waiting for 20 years before you're going to feel the first symptom. And the number one most common symptom of heart disease is the heart attack. 64% of people will experience the heart attack before they experience any other symptom of heart disease. And let's take cancer because it's the, the exact same situation. If you wait until you feel cancer, you will have had it for 20 years almost. And so we know that the best way to survive cancer is early detection, right? And so we go in, we get our mammograms, we get our prostate exams, and we feel ourselves and we get these regular annual checkups. But even with our best medical and scientific technology, cancer is still growing inside your body for eight years before it's detectable. Eight years, two years before it's considered lethal. And that's why we're losing this war on cancer. You're about to be pinkwashed. The the American Cancer Society and all these healthcare organizations are gonna start painting themselves pink because breast cancer is the number one killer of women worldwide. And don't get me wrong, any, any death is awful and I'm trying to prevent those here. But if you wait 
until it's detected by a mammogram, you're only two years before it's considered lethal. It is doubled every single 90 day period. Cancer cells double in size and double in number in your body. And so it's important that we start getting to the cause. And it starts with knowing what the real definition of health. It is not how you look. It is not how you feel. If you feel fine, even if you're taking a medication to cover up that symptom, essentially, you are not even attempting to focus on what the real definition of health is. The real definition of health, according to the World Health Organization, is nothing about how we look. It's nothing about how we feel. It is 100% optimal function in healing. 100%. Anything less than 100% healing and function is malfunction. And malfunction, that leads to sickness and disease. And if you wait until you feel a symptom, usually that malfunction has progressed about 40%. You're at 60% function when you start to feel symptoms of a sickness or disease. And if all you do is take a medication and you never address the cause of that malfunction in the first place, then it will get worse. It will. And we see that with diabetes. We see that with heart disease. You have to continue to take larger and larger amounts of these, of these medications just to manage the, the chronic illness that you found yourself in. And so we have to get back to that definition. 100% optimal function, 100% optimal feeling. There's one system in your body that controls that. And it's a system that is very rarely, if ever, addressed. And that's your nervous system. Literally, for your heart to beat, for your lungs to breathe, for a cut on your leg to heal, a signal has to travel from your brain, down your spinal cord, and out the nerves to every organ, cell, and tissue. It doesn't happen any other way. We know that not just because we learned this in science class, but, but because if you take a pair of scissors and you snip the brain stem, what happens to every organ, cell, and tissue below? It shuts down. You don't get a heartbeat. You don't get another breath. It stops immediately. Every organ, cell, and tissue dies. If we go down to the nerve that goes to the heart and we cut the nerve going to the heart, the heart's going to stop working. If we, but if we go back, because we don't have a pair of scissors running around our body cutting nerve cells. We don't have it cutting through nerve. We don't have it cutting through brain stem. What we have is we have an amazing protective mechanism called the spinal column. Each individual vertebra in the spinal column surrounds and protects your spine, uh, your spinal cord, your brain stem, and the nerve roots perfectly. And it has a normal position. It should be straight up and down from the front with three 45 degree curves from the side. In that position, there's no additional pressure or damage on your nervous system. But if you take that out of position by even two millimeters or two degrees, now it's resting the weight of a dime of pressure on one of those three. And of those three, the most important is the brainstem. So Atlas, Atlas is the top bone in the neck. It surrounds the brainstem. It has the most motion. That's the most important bone in your body because if that's off even two millimeters or two degrees, that's now disrupting signals going through your brainstem, affecting cranial nerves, going up into the head, but also going down into the rest of the body. And what we find is that when that is affected, that keeps you from being able to overcome a cancer diagnosis. That keeps you from being able to have a healthy heart, from being able to have healthy lungs, from being able to overcome autoimmune conditions. And what we find is that when that function, specifically of the vagus nerve, so just one of those cranial nerves, if the vagus nerve is functioning at a high level, you have a better chance of surviving cancer. If that vagus nerve is functioning at a high level, you overcome autoimmune conditions. And this is, this is not me talking, this is, this is neuroscience. We see in these journals studies where they're putting in electromagnets into the vagus nerve and you stimulate it with an electromagnet and your odds of even just continuing in that disease pattern, it disappears. It goes down, it plummets. And so what we want to look at though is that protective mechanism. Is it properly in alignment? Because most Americans have gone through some sort of trauma, whether it's a car accident or a sports injury or just sitting at a desk every single day. Time Magazine last year came out with a, a report saying that sitting is the new smoking. Just the, the chronic injury of sitting at a desk every single day for more than an hour at, at a time 
what this does is it increases your risk of having colon cancer or digestive orders disorders by more than 50%. It increases your risk of breast cancer. It increases your risk of diabetes or heart disease. And it's because of the stress and the strain that this puts on your nervous system. Just by sitting down, you lose 10 degrees off of the curve in your low back. It goes from 45 to 35, and that creates what we know from neuroscience as a pathological tension on your spinal cord, on your brainstem, on the, on the nerve roots as they come out of those openings in your spinal column, in the low back, and it affects the ability of your body to heal. And so most people, when they think of a pinched nerve, like what I'm talking about today, they think of things like sciatica. And sciatica is that pinched nerve in the low back where it hurts in your back and it runs down the leg just behind the knee. And a lot of people that I see in my office, they have that. And all it takes is sometimes just getting movement back in the spine, taking pressure off of that nerve to allow that to start to feel better. But once you have an injury, now the muscles, tissues, cells, they've relearned that position as normal and it takes time and it takes repetition to retrain the spine to hold that position. And most people completely ignore that spine. It's the most important organ in your body and they completely ignore it. You pay more attention to your teeth or your car than you do your spine. You invest in your teeth and yet you can live without your teeth. You can get a new car, but has anyone ever heard of a spinal replacement surgery? No, because that's where your life sits. That's where your soul sits. That's where your mind sits, is in the brain, it's in the spinal cord and it constantly animates every organ, cell and tissue. And so if you've never had your nervous system checked, I encourage you now to make the decision today to not just check it, but take care of that for the rest of your life. And so for the first four callers today, I'm going to be giving a 50% discount off of any exam imaging testing that needs to be done on your spine, on the nervous system. Normally, if you were to walk into a medical office to get your nervous system checked, that would cost you thousands of dollars. And with the healthcare situation where it is today, your health insurance probably has a deductible that's in the thousands of dollars. And so it, it, it's financially unmotivating. It keeps you from wanting to take care of it because of how expensive it is. And so just to come into my office, I, I set the bar really low so that you can step over that bar and see exactly what's going on. The average first visit in my office cost around $130. But for the first four callers today, that average visit, that plummets down to just $65. You'll get a 50% discount off of the exam, you'll get a 50% discount off of the x-rays. And then when you're finished, we'll bring you back for a follow-up visit where I tell you exactly what you what we found. If I can help you, you get your first treatment. The average treatment cost is around $60 here in the office. And then from there, we move forward into going through everything. Once we see how your spine responds, we sit down with you and your significant other, whoever it is that you want next to you to help you make that decision. We go through everything at a report of findings for you to be able to see what's going on in your spine, to be able to see what it's gonna to take to get you well and make that decision to move forward so that you can start to transform your mind, that you will take care of your health, that you will make your health your priority for the rest of your life so that you can accomplish your purpose here. I'm Dr. Jake Tucker. That number to call for that exam is 402-413-8825. We'll be right back with more right after the break. Welcome back. My name is Dr. Jake Tucker. We're here on Max Living Radio today talking about what is the most important thing and how as Americans we get that most important thing wrong. That thing today is your health. Without your health, you have nothing. Without your life, you have nothing. Without your function, you have nothing. 0% function, 0% life, 0% health are exactly the same thing. And I want you to experience full life. I want you to experience full function. I want you to experience full health. These are the things that matter in life. And so what controls that then becomes the most important thing because without that health, without that function, your body is actively building sickness and disease. Sickness and disease defined are literally just malfunction happening within the body. And there's one system that controls that. We talked about this before the break. That is your nervous system. For your heart to beat, for your lungs to breathe, for a cut on your leg to heal, a signal has to run from the intelligence that's inside of our brain, down the spinal cord, out the nerves, to every organ, cell, and tissue in your, your body. And your spine 
in its normal position, straight up and down from the front, 345 degree curves from the side. In that position, it perfectly protects your nervous system. And so your nervous system is then able to heal and function at 100%. But we interfere with that. Our technology interferes with that. Our lifestyle interferes with that. Not exercising interferes with that. Our diet interferes with that. The things that we do on a daily basis, the toxins we surround ourselves with and cover our bodies in, these things affect the health and function of the nervous system. All it takes is a small misalignment of those vertebra to start putting a physical pressure on the nerves. Just two millimeters or two degrees of misplaced vertebra now puts the weight of a dime of pressure on the nervous system, and that decreases function by up to 60%. 60%. And if that hits the right part of the nerve, you're talking about malfunctioning heart. You're talking about malfunctioning lungs. You're talking about malfunctioning pancreas, starting to build diabetes in your body. You're starting to talk about malfunctioning vagus nerve, disrupting the ability of your body, of your immune system to heal and function the way that you're supposed to, just to be able to fight off a flu or a cold that starts to come down. And so it's very important that we start to take care of this. And I have a number of patients that waited to take care of this. But then when they heard the truth, when they, when they found out what true health is and how you can maintain it, how you can allow your body to heal, then they started to get their health back. And yes, they may have waited too late to get full function back, but 90% function is far better than 80% function or 70% function or 60% function. If we can get you to a place where your body can heal and function the way that God designed it to, you can overcome any odds because there's nothing that God created in this world that he can't also help you overcome. There's no condition, there's no law or principle that puts God at, his, at its subject. God is not subject to any of these things. However, he does choose to live and rule by his laws and principles. And he asks that we live and walk in his laws and principles. And when we violate those, that's when health starts to suffer. That's when sickness and disease start to take root and take hold. And so it's important that we start living in alignment with those laws and principles. And so if you want to start taking that action step today, I want to invite you to join us for our health transformation dinner this Monday night at 6.30 p.m. at the Venue Restaurant and Lounge. We're going to be in the Cornhusker Room, and so I want you to call right now at 402-413-8825 to reserve your seat so that we can prepare enough food for everyone that's coming. And we're going to start by taking the first step in your journey to health, to experiencing true life and wholeness and fulfill that hope that God's placed within all of us so that we can each live our purpose. So that number again, 402-413-8825. Ask Gabby for a free ticket to the Health Transformation Dinner. I'm Dr. Jake Tucker. I'm going to be right back after this quick break. Welcome back for the final few minutes of Max Living Radio. My name is Dr. Jake Tucker here at Good Life Family Chiropractic. And I just want to tell you a quick story about an amazing patient that we have here in the office that has really made the decision to transform her life and health. And it took a while. She knew she was looking for something because just covering up the symptoms of her fibromyalgia, of her migraine headaches, of dealing with chronic disease and obesity was not working for her. She was sick and tired of being sick and tired. She didn't know what she was looking for, but she was looking for something different. Her medical doctors were giving her no hope. They, they were giving her no tools other than these pills that were just covering up her symptoms. When finally her, her sister invited her to come to a dinner. And when, when Wendy heard the message that she should come to the dinner, she thought it was a little weird at first. She thought coming to a dinner to hear a doctor talk about health was a little counterintuitive. But then her sister asked her again, and it took asking a couple different times for her to finally say, okay, if my sister believes that this is something that truly works and is truly good for me, then it must be worthwhile. So she came in and she, take, she, she listened to the words that I said. And she listened to the message that I had, that there is hope and that God created us for health. And 
that health is managed through the nervous system and the lifestyle that we're living is interfering with that nervous system and keeping you from healing and functioning the way that you're supposed to, that you're putting pressure on those nerves through your posture, through not moving properly, through the way that you eat, through the toxins that you surround yourselves in. When, when she heard that message, it clicked. And she realized that she needed to get herself in alignment with those laws and principles that God created. And she needed some help. And that's what she did. Is she, she came to me and said, I want you to take me under your wing and I want you to help make me well. And so we started her on the process. We evaluated her nervous system and we found severe tension around her brainstem. Her atlas was massively misaligned to the point where her brain couldn't communicate with her body, that the cerebrospinal fluid wasn't flowing well, and that there was a toxic buildup in her brain just from the metabolic byproducts of her brain doing what it does on it every day and not being able to breathe because that fluid wasn't getting up and down her spine the way that God designed it to, that those signals were being interfered with from a physical misalignment. And then she had no clue what healthy eating was. We have more access to more information about what it means to eat healthily and she was still doing it wrong. She was still not making the right choices. And so it took encouragement. It took a coach coming alongside of her. It took a friend. It took family coming alongside of her and encouraging her. And together with her and Chris and her mom and dad, they were able to start to take their life back, to start to take their health back. And she's now just starting to fulfill her potential, the things that God's called her to, the person that she is supposed to be in her family without fibromyalgia, without migraine headaches, without the chronic pain that she dealt with and being able to start losing the weight that she set out to so that she can experience and live the life that God's called her to. And so I want to offer that same opportunity to each and every one of you. If you want to come to that same dinner, that's this Monday night at 6.30 p.m. at the venue. Call our office for a free ticket, 402-413-8825. The first five callers will get a free ticket for that. But really what I want for you is the, the same step that she took, to step into our office and say, Dr. Jake, I need help with this. What can you help me accomplish? How is my lifestyle? How are these things interfering with the way my body expresses health? And I will be happy to walk you through that. We will start with your nervous system and we will look for any interference there because it doesn't matter how much organic food I take in. It doesn't matter how much exercise I do. It doesn't matter how much detox I do. If my brain is not communicating with every organ, cell, and tissue, it's going to start malfunctioning and building sickness and disease. But if we start with the nervous system, then we can be a little off in some of those areas and we can start to refine those in. And as we do, our, our body comes to life. And so that, that requires an exam, a full neurological assessment, and it may require some x-rays as well. And normally to get that checked in a hospital setting, in a, a medical setting would cost you thousands of dollars. So I set the bar low so that you can step over it easily. And so normally that, that exam cost with x-rays included is around $130. But if you call right now for the first four callers, I'm going to be doing a 50% discount for you to come in this week and get the help that you need to start achieving the health and life and purpose that God's created you for, that God's created for all of us. Each of us has a unique purpose, and I want you to be able to fulfill that, whether that's as a mom or a dad or a grandpa or a grandma or whatever it is that he's called you to. If that's going to Mexico and delivering toys to uh, to homeless children or to the inner city, you're really helping with uh, the homeless there or, or just, and you can tell the homeless are on my heart right now because we are dealing with such a problem here in Lincoln as, as the city's growing and we're succeeding. We need people to fulfill their purpose in life because God has not left us without the resources. You and I are the resources, but our health is getting in the way and it's my purpose to make sure you fulfill your purpose so that we can achieve the things that God wants for us to, to create a greater place here on earth, to create heaven on earth, so that we can live in his presence daily. You guys have a great week and a great day, and I will see you next week on Max Living Radio.